Good afternoon. It is Tuesday afternoon, about 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are on for Tuesday at 2, and it is a crafting, live crafting show for you. And if you get my email newsletters, you will have seen that I said I was on the road today. And uh, I took the crafting show on the road. Not really. But I um, am away with my family for just a few days up north. Uh, hi, Emily. So we're up north just uh, to get a little getaway. As many of you know, my husband is a school principal and things are gearing up for the fall. And we just thought this would kind of be our last chance to do a little getaway before the craziness of back to school starts. It's craziness for him, obviously, because with the pandemic and everything going on, school, back to school is gonna look totally different this year. Hi, Donna. Hi, Mary. Hi, Kathy. So we thought we would, um, yeah, yeah, we thought it'd be nice to do a little getaway. So this is a usual place that we go kind of in um, Horseshoe Valley area. And we normally go in the summer. So we already went this summer for a week, um, but it's it's not too hard to kind of book like little, little short other times we can kind of add on. So we thought we'd go just uh, from kind of from Sunday to Wednesday, and I thought, no problem. So, because uh, I did want to do a little getaway as well, but I always have so much stamping things on the go, I couldn't just leave everything and disappear um, because I've got stamp camp this Friday, Saturday, and the annual Stampin' for Fun garage sale, lots of things going on. And then I was like, oh no, Tuesday at two. Um, so I didn't want to cancel it because I don't know, life is so a little topsy-turvy anyway. So I thought it just helps me to kind of stick with the routine and um, hi, Gail. And so I hope it'll help you guys too, to stick with the little routine that you know you've got your crafting show on Tuesday afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. So, it could, I'm, I'm get, this is the caveat at the beginning, my crafting show on the road here and up in our little resort. This could actually be a comedy of errors because um, I kind of threw things into my bag thinking about what I'd need and whatever. And of course, I already know I forgot something. I forgot the adhesive. So I can't really glue the project together because I didn't bring adhesive. So this whole thing could be a comedy of errors, but I figured it's it's a live show anyway. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen on Tuesday at two anyway. So it'll just add to the excitement of the experience, hopefully. Um, since those of you who watch me every Tuesday know that I am not a glamour, video YouTube star. So it's just casual here. And I figured we'll just do the best we can. Does that sound okay with you guys? So why don't we get started? Right, Louise? Like, here I am thinking, okay, I'll just do my Tuesday at two at the resort. No problem. I can bring my mount and the project and the ink pads and, um, yeah, but I forgot the adhesive, so I can't glue it together, so you'll just have to imagine. <laughs> okay, um, um, okay. so what I'm gonna do, it's so good to chat with you guys. And the cool thing is, many of you have your photo as your, like a picture of you as your Facebook icon, so it sort of feels like we're together. Like, Louise, I see your face. Although, Gail, there's a picture of your dog, so it doesn't quite feel like I'm talking to you, but close enough. Okay, so why don't, why don't we just do the best we can? I am happy to connect with you. The other thing I forgot is I forgot my glasses, right? Every Tuesday at two, it's always the same thing. I start going and I'm like, wait, pause, I'm gonna run and get my glasses. But since I'm not at home, I can't run home to get my glasses. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with the flow here. Hi, Maureen. So what I'm gonna do is put the phone on the mount and hopefully I can can share some things with you. Okay, let's see how this works out. I will flip this around. And there's the little tabletop. Okay. Hopefully this works. Hi, Jennifer. I don't have my... Anyway, I have nothing that I normally have at home because I'm on vacation. 
So I don't know how this is gonna work and I don't have my glasses, can't see that well. But I did want to uh, tell you some things. First of all, I thought it would be interesting for you to see when I go on vacation, what I bring. So um, this is what I bring when I'm on vacation because I don't actually go on vacation without crafting stuff because that's what I want to do when I'm on vacation. I want to craft, right? So what I brought with me this time is I brought the Simply Citrus card kit because I thought if I'm chilling out at night and I just want to get my fingers a little inky and play around, I thought I'd bring this kit because the great thing about this is that everything is inside. So usually when I go on vacation, I will usually bring an all-inclusive card kit like this um, so that I can have a little relaxing crafting time without needing my whole craft room with me. So I brought this with me up to the up to the timeshare. I also brought this with me. I don't know whether I told you guys what I did when I came up to our timeshare last month is I decided I was going to make a COVID scrapbook album. So I can't remember whether I showed you guys. So this is what I did when we came up last time. So I was hoping to get more done on it this time. Um, but I haven't done anything yet because last night I played board games with the family and what else did we do? We watched a movie, so I didn't actually get to work on it. Sometimes the kids are doing something else and I can work on it, but, and we went for a bike ride today. So we've been enjoying our vacation up here. So I didn't get to work on it, but I thought it'd be cool for you guys to see the kind of stuff that I bring. So the reason I, so I told you why I bring the all-inclusive kits, um, because everything's inside, it's easy to craft. And then this is really easy too, because I use our memories and more cards and See, that's why I don't think to bring adhesive because, um, you know, these things just slide into the pockets. So if you've never done scrapbooking before or you don't know um, kind of how to start, I'd highly recommend starting with our memory and more cards because um, how they work is that they're patterned cards and um, you just slip them into our photo pocket pages. Okay, and then I have, okay, this is what I have, I have to show you. Have you guys heard of this handy dandy tool? This is not a Stampin' Up! thing, so I can't sell you this, but, but um, I don't even know where I learned about it from, but it's basically a little mini portable photo printer. So I bring that with me on vacation too, because it just plugs in. And then when I take photos on my, sometimes I have scrapbooked my vacation while I am on the vacation, because I take pictures on my phone. And then I just, when I get back to the hotel room, I print it out on the little printer. And then I, then I put it into the pocket pages. See? So, so I didn't have to bring all the photographs. So anyway, this is my COVID scrapbook. This was our last stamping get together before um, before everything shut down. So we already had the sense to know that we were not supposed to hug and everything. So that was the big joke because at, our, at, at my stamping events, there's usually lots of hugging and laughing and things like that. So everybody knew, I told them before the event, I'm like, you cannot hug. So um, anyway, there, there was no hugging and there was no buffet like I served the food instead of the ladies coming to get the food anyway so that was the beginning of the beginning of the uh, pandemic but see how easy it is like these little cars they dress up the page really easy um, just by slipping it into the pockets okay so those are our memories and more card things right oh and here's my husband I probably gained about 30 gray hairs at least when he went off to his mission trip to Nicaragua. But thank the Lord, he came home safely with the team. And then he was quarantined in our house. So I made food for him every day. He lived in our bedroom with the ensuite bathroom and I lived in the basement and the kids, you know, we just left him alone there, but we cooked him food. So it's kind of fun to have all these memories. I'm hoping this is like a historic moment, right? My son's birthday during COVID, how we had a Zoom call. So I love it that I've got all these things. Yeah, my husband can't sit still. So while he was in quarantine, he was making stuff on his 3D printer. So I have all these things like, you know, 
saved in my little scrapbook already. So I was hoping to do more of it um, while we were away this these couple days, but I don't know whether I'll get to it. But this kind of scrapbooking is super easy. I almost feel like I can't call it scrapbooking because when people hear the word scrapbooking, they think it's like this huge task of memory keeping, but the memories and more cards um, make it super, super easy. Yeah, my daughter's been doing more cooking. We had make your own pizza night anyway. So we had our own poutine night because we couldn't go to our traditional Ottawa for poutine fest. So yeah, I've been taking pictures all through the pandemic in hopes of being able to preserve it in an album. And you know, maybe 10 years down the road, we'll yeah, it is good that I fed him, right? Since he was quarantined. <laughs> Kathy, you crack me up. Why wouldn't I feed my husband? I don't want him to die. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, I guess he could have ordered in Uber Eats himself or something. Um, okay, so that's what I do when I'm on vacation. Um, thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek of the September Technique class, uh, which is September the 21st. We're going to be doing faux dry embossing, and this is one of the cards we'll make. So make sure to register for that. You can just go to Genevieve. Can you see this? Genevieve.stampinup.net and hit the events tab and you'll see all my upcoming events. So um, that's that. And oh, this is something I made recently using the paper pumpkin kit. So I guess I brought that up to show you. A little alternate shaker card project. Okay, so why don't we get started with our project today? So if you're new and you haven't joined in on Tuesday at 2 before, I love to read your comments, glasses or no glasses, and um, you'll be entered into just a little drawing um, for your comments, and it's just a way that we can connect. So um, if you're new or you haven't, you know, talked with me for a while or anyway, just go ahead and comment let me know where you're from. Let me know how you like the projects. Um, we can always connect. Okay, so um, as you know, may or may not know, if you're new, you wouldn't know, but each month I try to pick a product of the month and share projects each week on my Tuesday at two using the product of the month. So August's product of the month is the Warm Hugs stamp set. Um, so right at the beginning of the month, I did some stamping with this as part of my Facebook party, and you saw the fun uh, coffee cup um, tags and things like that that I made. And then um, last week, um, I showed this fun gift card holder, an accordion gift card holder, using that stamp set. So let's see what we will stamp this week, even though I forgot my adhesive and I'm here up at the resort missing all my stamping things. So, so far I know I've forgotten adhesive and my glasses. We'll see what else I forgot. Um, yes, thank you. I'm glad you love my little family scrapbook too. It's so easy, it's so easy and it just, it just warms my heart. I love card making and treat making, but scrapbooking is very near and dear to my heart. I keep thinking that I'm gonna do some sort of series or class with scrapbooking because I love it so, so much. I just think it's so, I mean, I'm gonna have this for years to come. Maybe I can pass it on to my children. Like my children's children will, learn about the pandemic of 2020. Do you know what I mean? Like I have it here and these are memories that would normally fade, but I love it that it's in the book. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just reading the comments here, but no glasses. So it's tricky. Oh, hi, Denise. Welcome. I'm glad you're a new viewer. Thanks for commenting. You'll be entered into the drawing that I do. Okay. So from Alberta, I heard it was hot today in Alberta. I was talking to one of my friends out there. Okay, so let's see whether I remember. I did kind of manage to put it into a little packet. This was a little project that we did at our demonstrator stamp and share event a couple weeks ago. So if you attended that event, it was an event just for demonstrators that myself and my team member Zara did together. And we had over 12 different projects as part of that event. So I thought I would uh, show you a couple of them. Okay, so let's see what this turns into. This is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. Okay, so just a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. 
and um, we're going to score it on the landscape side. Okay, so I did remember to bring my trimmer. Yay me. So we're going to score it at three inches, which I've already done here. Yeah. So we'll score it at three inches. So if you've got this great Stampin' Up! trimmer, you'll know that the dark blade is the cutting and the lighter gray blade is the scoring. So we'll score it at three inches and then score it at four inches. Hope I have the measurements right. And then we'll score it at seven inches. So we need to open up this, we need to open up our extension arm here. We'll score it at seven inches, which I've already done. And then score it at eight inches. Okay, so this is on the landscape side of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it onto the portrait side. Okay, I should have pushed my score lines down more. See, I didn't bring a bone folder either. Okay, three and a quarter inches. So on the portrait side, three and a quarter inches, and then four and a quarter inches. Okay. Okay. So I'll hold this up so that you can see what I might do. Hi, Lena. Okay. I was just saying, Lena, that I'm up on vacation here and I thought I would bring the stuff for my Tuesday at 2 video, but it could end up being a comedy of errors because who knows what I forgot because you're packing things for the kids, you're packing things for yourself. Okay, so I tried to kind of fold on the score lines so that you can see the different where I'm scoring it. Okay, um, so You'll notice if you make this project that there's kind of like, it kind of created squares or rectangles at the top and at the bottom. So, but this one is taller. So you want the taller part to be facing the top. I think I can move this for a minute here. You want the taller part to be facing at the top and we are going to do some cutting. So, I did remember my paper snips. Can't live without these babies. Okay. And we are going to, I uh, hope I have this right. So the taller part is at the top. This kind of the taller rectangles that are formed, I have it facing up in a landscape orientation. I'm going to cut this portion off. Hope I am doing this correctly. Right on the score line. Okay. I'm just cutting it off on this end and on this end. Again, I'm not entirely sure, but let's let's do it and see what happens. Okay. So then, so then it kind of looks like this, and I am going to snip I'm not cutting it off, I'm just snipping up to the score line. And for the sake of time, I won't miter it, but it might be a good idea. Sometimes people like to kind of miter the corn, miter the, is that the right word, miter? I don't know. Okay, so we can kind of Okay, can you kind of see what's happening there? So that's our little flap. I didn't cut it off. I just snipped on the score lines. Okay, so we'll do the same on the other side. Here. Okay, I'm just snipping. I'm not snipping it off. I'm just snipping. Okay, and then here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut on the diagonal from the inside score line out to the bottom. Okay, so for me, I think it'll be easier if I do that using the trimmer because the trimmer has this groove here. Sorry for all the shaking today. It has this groove here, so I know that's where it's gonna cut. So what I'm gonna do is position this so that it cuts right here. So just a reminder, if you're just joining in, my name is Genevieve. I love to do a little stamping 
demonstration for you each Tuesday at 2. And of course, if there's anything you see that you would like to own, you can just head to my online store, genevieve.stampinup.net. You can click the Shop Now button. If you want to see my upcoming events, just click the Events button. Okay, and this month in August, and we're going to do the same on the other side, from the inside to the outside. This month in August, any order $60 or more will qualify you for a free package of Stampin' Dimensionals. And Stampin' Dimensionals are a great product. They help give extra texture to your, kind of an extra lift to your, your things when you're gluing it down. Okay, so I think that is it. So it suddenly occurred to me that in my all-inclusive kit, I wonder if there's any adhesive. Well, there are these tiny glue dots here. Maybe we can use these babies. And at least it will kind of be stuck down for the purposes of... Okay, so what we're making here is actually a little box, a little treat box. So this folds up. If you pre-burnished it, it would be easy. This part folds up and this part folds over. Okay, see how it makes like a little treat box? It's pretty roomy inside. You could put like a few chocolate bars in there, some of those chocolate bars, or you could kind of put treats into a cello bag and stick it in. I really don't know how the lighting is here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so let's Let's see, maybe before I glue this down, um, I tried to bring a piece of designer series paper here that would fit, but actually I think we do have to, so I believe this is two and three quarters by three inches, and it's using the designer series paper that is, uh, that coordinates with the same suite from the warm hug set. Okay, let's see whether we can use our little mini glue, <laughs> mini glue dots to glue that down. Okay, so normally I, if I were at home, I'd have my take your pick tool, but I'm gonna use my scissors here and see if I can apply the adhesive here. I don't know if it's gonna work. We'll just try. I warned you, this might be a comedy of errors today. But that's, see, notice the all-inclusive kits. They really are quite all-inclusive. It even has these little adhesives. Of course, I would recommend getting one of our better adhesives like the Seal or the Seal Plus or some liquid glue. So I'm just gonna push these down and take off this backing and see if it'll stick. We won't know till we try. Hi, Pat. Okay. You missed my whole intro, Pat, about this possible comedy of errors. Okay. I'll just push it from the inside here. Okay, it's holding, it's holding. <laughs> we can do this, folks. This is Tuesday at two on the road, coming to you from Horseshoe Valley. My fam in case you're wondering where my family went, they are not standing here cheering me on. The um, resort has like a pool and um, upstairs in kind of the pool room, they have um, like little activities. Well, no, like a swimming pool, but then upstairs they have like a pool room, you know, like billiards and like little video arcade games. When we came up in July, it was still kind of all closed up, but I think it's open now, so Kevin took the kids to go check that out. Maybe they'll play a game of billiards while I'm doing my Tuesday at 2. Okay, this is working. Do you love Horseshoe Valley, Lena? Yeah, it's pretty peaceful out here, and over this pandemic, I have been doing more bicycle riding. I'm very... Um, I wouldn't say I'm a sedentary person, but I am not athletic. Like I'm not sporty at all. So it's kind of a big deal that I've been on my bike, but Kevin and my daughter like to go. So I figured I may as well go with them. No, oh, that's not working out too well. And um, yeah, so we brought our bikes up with us. 
We went for a bike ride this morning. Maybe tomorrow we will go out for lunch before we head home. Lena, are you still on there, Lena? Did you get your box? Um, so for those of you that don't know, Stampin' Up! is such a wonderful company. We were supposed to have a special leaders convention in New Orleans next week. And obviously that was canceled due to the pandemic, but they decided to do an online version and word has gotten out that Stampin' Up! is sending us a gift. And you did, ah, oh, well, I'm up here in Horseshoe Valley. So obviously I can't be at home checking, but uh, my oldest son did not come with us because I think when you're 19 and living at home, really there's a little too many, too much of your parents and siblings hanging around. So to give each other some space, that was probably another reason why we came to give my son some space and us some space from him. So he's been getting my texts like, did the FedEx man come? Did my box come? It looks really fancy, the people who got it. It's a, it just looks really fancy. So I've been waiting. I heard the Canadians finally started getting theirs. The Americans got theirs a little earlier, but I'm sh I don't think I've gotten mine yet. So I am waiting with bated breath to get my special leader's gift. Okay. Word has, yeah, I know my team member Zara got hers yesterday and mine did not show up yesterday. So I'm trying not to be nervous about it. We're pretty much always around or my son's always like, you know, he can look out the door for me. He knew I was expecting it. So I'm sure he was looking for me. So I don't think a porch bandit or anything would have gotten it. Okay. So, you know, I was just chatting all that so that you didn't have to watch this painful process of using mini glue dots to assemble my box because I forgot my adhesive. But here is my box, yay! This already has a little adhesive on it, so we're just gonna stick it right on here. Okay, so our box is coming together here, folks. Yay! Okay, so I did bring the stamp set, yay me, and um, let's use our stamps, okay? So, I think I'm going to use this octagon shape here. And these are photopolymer stamps. So, you literally just peel it off the acetate and stick it onto a block. So, let's do that. I did remember a block. But if I didn't, my all-inclusive kit would have one. So, okay. And I'm gonna stamp it with the Mossy Meadow. And this, I punched out a two inch Whisper White circle punch. So I kind of did that in advance. Oh, I think my Mossy Meadow might need to be juiced up. Let's see how we do here. Stamping is so easy. You literally just tap on the ink pad straight down and straight up. I think that's why I've always liked it. You don't necessarily have to have a wealth of creative talent. You just have to be able to hold your stamp. Okay, are you using that same stamp set? That's hilarious. Okay, so, um, and then maybe what I'll do is the So Very Merry. And put it on another block here. I brought two blocks with me. And I'll stamp that in the real red. Okay. So I'm stamping it near the top. So that leaves room at the bottom for a little decoration. Um, so what I'll do, you'll see in this stamp set, there's like a star, a heart. Let me see if I can swing the candy canes, but I don't have my glasses. So you have been duly warned that we'll see how I do. Cause this is a two-step stamp. I'm trying to remember which is easier to do the inside or the outside. Well, let's try it and see. Maybe I can just do the outlines of the candy cane. Okay. The tricky part is to see whether I can fit the inside 
in its spot. Let's see. So they have these little stripes for the candy cane. So I love how Stampin' Up! designs their stamps so thoughtfully. So it looks more like a real candy cane when your eyes are able to line it up. Sorry if you see my head in the camera. I'm trying to see if I can line it up. Hey, I'm a rock star. Look at that. Okay, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself there. We did a perfect candy cane using our two-step stamping with this stamp set. And then before I put away the, the So Very Merry, I am going to stamp it again. Oh, I didn't bring a cleaner though, so let me just try and get all the red off. And I'll use the Mossy Meadow. And I, what I'm trying to do is just ink up just the Mary part. Let me see whether I can do that. Okay. I don't know if I did it, but let's try. And I'll just pop it on this pear pizzazz piece. Maybe I'll trim it a bit. And it just gives a little bit of lift and interest to the sentiment when you kind of do it in a different color. And I can just layer it on top, see? Okay, so my all-inclusive kit also has dimensionals. So I think we're saved there after all. Let me grab one of these dimensionals. I may have to cut it in half. Okay, so this is how fun it is. Fun and easy to create handmade projects. Because when you make it handmade, instead of buying it in a store, it has a little extra love. I don't know if you know that, but that's what I think. It, it's, like, it's like a little extra love, a little extra hug. Stick that on. And then the new um, August to December mini catalog has some pretty foil paper. And we can just stick that on there with my crazy adhesives here. Boy, I sure miss my <laughs> sure miss my seal adhesive, but we're gonna do the best we can here. It's not bad. These are the kind of adhesives that come with the all-inclusive kit. So as long as you've got like a take your pick tool or these little scissors, paper snips, it's not bad. Okay. So this is another way to use this stamp set. The stamp set doesn't just have to be used for, yes, Lindsay, that's what I do. I just grab it from wherever I want to. You don't do that, Lindsay? <laughs> Where do you start taking your dimensionals from? Not the middle? Okay, so let's grab another dimensional from the middle <laughs> and stick it on. I love stamping. I love creating these things. It makes me feel awesome that I made this on vacation with minimal supplies. <laughs> and even I forgot my adhesive. Okay. So there you go. That is our project for this week, showcasing the very fun Warm Hug Stamp Set. This is the project that I did last week using that same stamp set. Um, and da -da -da, I'll just show you here so that you guys can see where it is in the catalog. Um, it's this whole heartwarming hug suite. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm glad you thought it was adorable. It's fun, right? You could do it with designer series paper, all sorts of things. You could create a little treat box. Okay. And with Halloween coming up, you could even do it with Halloween paper and put some chocolates and make a Halloween treat box. So many different ideas with this. Okay, so this is the suite that I'm using. That was the DSP that I was using. And here's the stamps that I was using. So I just wanted to show you the picture of other great ideas. I feel like our catalogs are not just for shopping, but they always have great photos and ideas in them as well. So that is this week's Tuesday at 2. Next week I should be back. Oh, I have more things to tell you. Okay, so I didn't get to do up... Um, 
a little special paper. Um, remember I was starting last week just saying like kind of Stampin' for Fun refresh announcements and last week's refresh announcement, maybe I can turn this around now so you guys can see my face, hang on. Let me see whether I can do that. Da -da -da. Okay, so last week's refresh announcement was that uh, starting in September, I will be moving my classes and events to the third week of the month. So technique class will always be the third Monday of the month. And uh, our team stick stampers get together will always be on the third Tuesday of the month. And for now, the rest of my classes will be um, on the third Saturday of the month. So that was my refresh. And then related to that, I'm looking for class RSVPs for each month on the first of the month. So if you want to take any of my September classes, if you can let me know by September the 1st, that would be awesome. It'll help me prepare and help me plan ahead and get packets in the mail if I need to. Um, so you can check out my event schedule at genevieve.stampinup.net. Click events. I think I only have it updated till September, sorry, but I have lots coming up, so just keep checking there. Um, the other thing, so my refresh announcement for this week, which I haven't completely finished, so that's why I don't have a printout for it, is I am going to be making a change to my loyalty card program. Some of you, many of you probably don't even know I have a loyalty card program and that's exactly why I'm refreshing because it was something that started basically when I started almost 13 years ago. There's been pretty much no change or to it at all in all these 13 years. Um, so it, it's time to give it a refresh. I think I am losing connection, but hopefully we're okay. Um, so... Anybody who has the current loyalty card, you can continue to use it till the end of December, but starting in January will be exclusively on the new loyalty program. Okay, so stay tuned. Uh, my new loyalty program, it will launch on my blog. So you will get an announcement if you're on my email list or you follow my blog. Once I have it up and running, you will um, see it. And so that way, when it's on my blog, then anybody can access the loyalty card. It doesn't have to be a card that I give them. You can just print it out from my blog and you'll fill it out on your own. And um, because I don't know how long it'll be, we'll be doing these online classes and online orders and things like that. So it's better if you all fill out your own loyalty cards. And it won't be a card. It'll really be a page that you download from my blog. Okay, so that's this week's refresh announcement. Um, along with that, speaking of um, refreshing, I think I might change my photo, my banner photo in my Stampin' for Fun group. So you can keep an eye open for that. I might do that this afternoon. I have a new photo. Hopefully it'll work up there because I know it's a little confusing that my Facebook page and my Facebook group both have the same picture at the top. So sometimes you don't know if you're in my group or whether you're in my page. And um, so I thought it would be good to refresh that and just give a new uh, photo header for my Facebook group. Okay. And the second announcement I want to make, this is kind of unrelated to my Stampin' for Fun refresh. It's about my garage sale. So many of you know that every summer I do a garage sale of gently used paper crafting items, um, I'm really just coordinating it. I am not personally selling stuff, but I'm kind of coordinating it so other vendors can sell their gently used paper crafting supplies. Um, so I've done it for like three years. Every summer around August, I do it. So I thought, I guess I'm really stubborn. I'm not going to let this pandemic like flatten me out and like ruin what I've been doing. So I'm going to still have that Stampin' for Fun um, garage sale. It's just going to be online on Facebook. So if you're on my email newsletter list, I think, oh no, I guess you wouldn't have gotten it. I think I scheduled it to go live on Thursday. So you should get an email on Thursday that tells you how to join the group. But if you're in my Facebook group already, I think I might have posted something. If you 
on or on my page i already posted the event for the garage sale it starts on saturday and runs until tuesday and so basically you will join this garage sale group my stampin for fun garage sale group and you just look at pictures and you tell me what you want to buy from the pictures you just comment in the comments and then I'll know who wants to buy what and you send me money and I'll pack it all away for you and you can come pick it up. If you live further away and you want it shipped, that's totally fine. You just have to pay the shipping via Canada Post or however you want it shipped. So that's just, you know, whatever it costs is what you'll be paying me for the shipping. Okay, so mark your phones because as my normal garage sale, it's kind of first come, first serve, whatever's on the table, whatever's there to sell. Um, but it's it's all paper crafting stuff, all at um, much lower prices than, than new. So um, you might find something you've been looking for, some exclusive retired stamp sets, tools, designer series paper, all sorts of things are there. So tell your friends about it. You mark your calendar, get on to the, you can start asking to join the group now. I won't approve you to enter the group until Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you can all go in and look at all the pictures and start deciding what you want to shop for. Okay, so that, I wanted to give you that announcement. Mm, I guess that's all for now. So thanks for tuning in to Tuesday at 2. Uh, keep sharing your comments, even if you're watching on replay, because I do like to read them, and you'll be entered into a drawing for a little prize. And remember, if you um, are interested in any of the products that I've shown, just head to my online store, genevieve.stampinup.net, click the Shop Now button, and only for August, I'll be giving a package of Stampin' Dimensionals, brand new Stampin' Dimensionals, uh, for order $60 or more. So you can either contact me with your order, or you can um, shop online. Thank you, Louise. I hope to enjoy the next couple days before I head back and and uh, get back into the grind of things. But it's nice to just get a change of scenery a little bit. So enjoy. Thank you for tuning in with me. So good to chat with you. Enjoy your afternoon. Bye.